Big Data Extensions integration with Mesos makes deploying a Mesos cluster as easy as just a few clicks. Let's take a look. So when you install BDE, you'll see this BDE view in the UI. From there, you can go to Clusters, and here you can declare a new cluster. Within that cluster wizard, you can give the cluster a name. If you want, you can choose a different distribution, but for now, let's go with Mesos. From here, you can change the properties of your cluster. Um, you can set up custom properties, resize VMs, set the number of masters, slaves, zookeeper nodes. But for now, let's stick with the defaults. And default network configuration. You have to pick a uh, destination cluster. Give our nodes a password of some sort. And that's it. Now we're ready to go. Let's deploy the cluster. This takes a second. Rather than wait through this process, which takes a few minutes, I'm going to speed up time here so we can just kind of skip ahead to when the deployment completes. Pretty much there. Okay, so we've got our Mesos cluster up and running. Now we can head to one of those master IP addresses. And we see this is not the leader master, but it is one of the masters. So we'll be redirected over to the real master. There you go. We've got our master. You can see there are slaves over here, three slaves, as we requested in the UI. From frameworks, we can see we've got Marathon and Kronos installed. All right. So let's head over to the uh, Marathon instance on this master. All right, we see we've got Marathon up and running with no apps. Let's deploy a Docker app against this Marathon instance. So we've got some simple scripting already set up to do this. Just deploying a very simple Marathon application. So set our master IP address for the script. Take a look at the JSON dump. So you see we're deploying a simple Docker image based on Ubuntu that should just echo hello Docker. Okay, so deployment is in progress. Again, this part takes a few minutes for the Docker pull of Ubuntu, but let's skip ahead. Our application has now been running, so we look at the finished instance rather than the ones that timed out waiting on deploy. Pull up the sandbox, look at standard output. All right. And there you go, hello Docker, which is run inside a Docker slave.